Hi, I'm Robin Foister, the publisher and owner of Women Love Tech. International Women's Day is a day for us to join voices with people around the world and share our message for equal rights. Women's rights are human rights, and we proudly celebrate all women in all their diversities. And here we share their personal messages. Wishing you a very happy International Women's Day. What a great excuse to celebrate all of the amazing achievements. Hi, I'm Cass Spees, the founder of Twisted Healthy Treats, and I'm here today with my all-female management team. We wanted to wish everybody a very, very happy International Women's Day. Today, we'd like to give a shout out to all the women in tech around the world who are inspiring, independent, valued, vibrant, dynamic, strong, ambitious, determined, leaders, confident, passionate, successful, resilient. And our message to you, may you pursue your dreams, choose to challenge and be the best version of yourself possible. Happy International Women's Day from Spotify Australia. International Women's Day is an incredibly important day to focus on all our wonderful women scientists, all our female students wanting to come into the science area. The theme for this year is achieving an equal future in a COVID-19 world. Uh, women all across the world in various organisations and institutions are at the forefront of leading the response to COVID. It's all about choosing to challenge. That is calling out unconscious bias and gender inequalities. International Women's Day to me is the day we stop and recognise the equal value that women bring to the world. Obviously to communities, to their families and of course to the workplace. But it's also a day we need to remind ourselves that there isn't equality for women around the world and in some cases there is repression. So if there is ever a day that we choose the challenge, the inequality that still remains for women, it has to be International Women's Day. It's taking the time to pause, reflect, and express my gratitude. It's a celebration of choice and a reminder that women have the power to dream big and achieve great things. I never would have been able to build and grow my globally expanding business without my support systems. We need to remember to support women. It's great to hear about their successes and just to celebrate those successes as well. This inspiration helps us to become the best version of ourselves. The compassion and the strength of women is a powerful thing and it's what we should celebrate today and every day. On a day like this, I think about my mother. My mother raised me to believe in myself and she often told me, Maria, you got this. I know I have been heavily influenced by my mother who was a force of will, a determined woman. I hope I have been a positive influence to my daughter and other women. As a leader in tech, I faced several career hurdles from studying in IT with a 90% male cohort to working in tech where women are a minority. The tech space has made strides, but it still has a long way to go in achieving gender equality. I believe that we need to be bold and offer a differing viewpoint and mentoring the next generation of women. It's a celebration of the tides turning. And the need though for ongoing progress to continue striving for a better gender balance across all roles for those women in tech. For me, International Women's Day is a celebration of the power of connection and the power of women connecting with women. While COVID has challenged us with things like homeschooling and lockdowns, it has also rapidly transformed the way we work with remote working, providing greater flexibility to balance the competing demands of our work, family, and personal lives. We can all choose to challenge, and a shift needs to take place in the labels that we use around ambitious working mothers. You know the saying that she can't be what she can't see? Well, we all need to lead by example for other women and to chip away at the unconscious bias, starting with how we talk to ourselves and how we talk about other women. For me, it's a day to celebrate the woman who came before me, whose hard work and sacrifices have paved the way for my dreams and ambitions. Making systemic and cultural changes can be challenging, but it is the time to work together to seek out opportunities for women and making this more of a priority. To me, International Women's Day is an opportunity to celebrate the achievements of women of all ages and abilities and a chance for us to further discuss how we can improve to ensure equality for all. For me, there are many biases that women face in the workplace and thinking about International Women's Day is about reflecting on these biases and taking some time to address them and in some cases challenging them. 
performance bias, maternity bias, affinity bias, are the themes that I'm thinking about this year, along with what I've done and what I can do to ensure that women in the technology area are facing less of these. This pandemic has made me feel really small and helpless in our progress to equity. But I think all the more we need to band together to use our collective abilities and resources to help others make meaningful change. Working in an industry where women are underrepresented, I want to be a role model and encourage more to seek a career in science and technology. It's the small things that we do as a collective that's going to make the biggest change. As the mother of two daughters, I realise that there is still so much unconscious bias when it comes to gender. I hope that the next generation will grow up knowing that women can be anything without limitation. Women can be doctors, politicians, scientists or race car drivers, despite all the stereotypes that still exist in storybooks today. I'm calling on all employers to choose to challenge in the way that they recruit and choose women. Happy International Women's Day. It is such an important day for all of us to celebrate what we have achieved and what we're going to achieve. My advice to young women entering tech, know who you are, what you're passionate about, what you're gonna stand for. Really understand who's in your corner and repay that favour by being in someone else's corner. We are conditioned to be on the bench and we're not standing for that anymore. So what do you do to choose to challenge? I'm delighted to be marking this special day with women across the globe. Happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. Finally, I think it's our turn uh, to get uh, heard and treated like equals. So, happy day. I'm so excited about this next generation of women who are working to do that for everyone else because I firmly believe that when we rise, we rise together. The call to arms is lean in, go in, take those commercial roles, take that chance and build a business in STEM, in tech, because tech's here to stay and your future depends on it. International Women's Day is a multiplicity. It's the power of differences in every woman's story. Keep living your dreams. In the words of Michelle Obama, there is no limit to what we as women can accomplish. You have a voice, use it. Whether it's to help someone else, mentor another person, or to speak out where you know you will be heard, you need to be heard, I challenge you, to give it a go. I choose to challenge women to claim their place as bold, confident leaders in the workplace. I hope you have a great International Women's Day and remember, you got this.